Hey there vape fans, it's Zay here from MBV and today we're going to be giving you a little tutorial video on how to wrap just a standard coil. Um, today we're going to be using an ohm reader. This is just going to show you the resistance of your coil once you're done wrapping it. I would definitely suggest always having one of these just because it you want to stay safe when you're vaping and that's, that's just the main point. You just want to stay safe when you're vaping. Here we have the copper flagship, what we're going to be using um, as our mod. We have the Dark Horse RDA, what we're going to be building on. We have our 24 gauge Canthal. We have our organic cotton right here. So right here we have the awesome U build kit. Um, it's fantastic. When I first opened it, I was super stoked just because they have everything you need in here. Right at the top, you got your little handy dandy scissors. You can cut your cotton. Um, they're actually pretty sharp too for how tiny they are and compact. They're, I like them a lot. Tweezers as you always need to clamp down your coils to make sure that they are very tight and heating up evenly. Right here we have a jig so you can wrap your coil around here or this side if you want. You're going to have a very small coil if you wrap it with that side. Wire clippers. These things are very handy. I've been using these a lot and I can't get enough of them. So here you have your flathead and your Phillips screwdriver that's going to work with um, probably any RDA you, that you have. So the first thing you want to do when you're just wrapping a standard coil is you want to go ahead and get a good amount of Canthal out so you know how much you're going to be needing. I'd probably go with about 6 or 7 inches worth of Canthal just so you have enough. If I mess up, which I usually do mess up when I'm wrapping my coils, I already have pre-cut Canthal so I don't have to keep on going back and forth and back and forth. So you want to snip it just right at the end. And you'll have your Canthal. Boom. And it might not be straight, but it's all good because it's going to end up in a coil anyways. So the tricky thing is when you're wrapping coils, you want to have them be tight together. Um, when I first started, they were disgusting. They were just bad. They were always bad. And then it just, it definitely takes practice getting used to. So how I do it, I just pinch it, the canthal between my index and thumb finger right around the screwdriver. So you want to make sure that you get a tight wrap for the first one. And then you don't count that as your first one because you'll end up unwrapping that to make sure that your coils are all even. So we'll go ahead and the first one, we're gonna do eight wraps, two. So this is what your coil is going to look like once it's all wrapped. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier if you keep the coil on the screwdriver or your jig piece if you keep it on there and then feed it into your RDA, that way you can adjust it and move it around while it's already clamped in. Set that down. It's a lot easier to get your RDA cap off if it's screwed into the mod itself. Sweet. So we can go ahead and open up two post holes if you're just doing a single coil build. So you're going to want to just feed it in. I usually go with the longer lead to the right and the shorter lead through the middle. It just a works a lot easier for me, but I mean, other people do it different ways, so to each their own. And once you, you want to get it pretty close, not touching the deck or the post screws itself because it's going to short out. So if you can see that, I'll just hold it in place with my thumb. Always tighten down the right lead first, that's what I do, and then you can just adjust the coil itself. Make sure it's in a nice spot and tighten down the middle post. And just adjust it. And if you want to center it, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a lot better just vape production. I like centering all my coils just because it's, it's how I've been doing since I first started and that's just how I like doing it. So if once you're situated and you like where your coil is at, just make sure that your leads are tightened down all the way so you're not getting any wrong readings and clip your leads off. Be careful, these things will shoot back and hit you. Sweet. So now that we have the coil installed, we'll go ahead and put it on our ohm reader to make sure that the resistance isn't too low and we can test for shorts if there are any. So we go ahead and put it on the side that has the resistance emblem on there. Make sure it's down tight enough that it's making a connection. Turn it on. 
and it will read 0.5. So that that you should be fine right there. If you want to build it up a little bit, um, that'll be perfect. But this is going to be a nice flavor build, and it's going to be delivering everything you need from your vape. So once you have that, you're going to want to heat it up just so it gets red. And then you're going to want to clamp it down with the tweezers. You want to make sure that it's heating up from the inside out too evenly. That's just the coil just works better that way. And it's not it's it your vape. You don't want your vape to be off or your coil to be doing anything it shouldn't. So if it's heating up from the inside out, that's how you know your coil is just going to be fine. Good. Heating up really nicely. And just so you can see it heating up. There you go. So now what you're going to want to do is get your cotton out. And this is, like I said, it's this build kit is awesome because it has everything you need to just jump into it and get going. Like I said, the scissors come in handy, having everything right there and ready to go. And you don't want to you don't want to cut off a huge strip when you're cutting off your cotton because it, or else it won't fit into your RDA or your coil. And so just cut off a little bit. If you need more, you can always just redo that and grab more cotton. And what I usually do, I'll set it in my hand and just roll it until it gets pretty thin. You can twist the ends and feed it right through your coil. I can turn it around in a second once it's all the way through. That's what's going to look like once you get your cotton fed through the coil. You want to make sure that your cotton is tight in there but it's not super tight or else you're, it's just not going to vape right. And you don't want you don't want excess cotton either or else it's just going to overflow. You're going to get way too much juice and it's not going to fit in your deck properly. So you just want to cut off the extra. All right. And what I do is I tuck the cotton under the coils and I try and keep it directly away from under the coil because that's where your airflow is going to come. I'll get to that in a second just to I want to let you guys know though once you are putting your cotton under and tucking it in make sure it's not under there. So that's what it's going to look like once it's all done and you can go ahead and drip whatever juice you're going to be using. Right now we have a customized flavor that we're going to be doing in one of our videos called PB and J really good tastes exactly like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so once you have your juice it um, all on the cotton you can go ahead and fire it it's gonna start going what I do is I usually will fire it a couple of times and just make sure it's heating up properly and burning the juice like I want and then you can go ahead and drip more juice on there just to make sure that you're not going to be vaping a, a dry wick all right and like I said before, you want to make sure that the cotton is not tucked directly under the coil because it's going to stop some of your airflow. And so what I do with the dark horse, you can see that it has this huge gap right here. I'll put that directly right in front of the coil. So your airflow is going to come through this hole under your coil and straight up the mouthpiece. And that's what it's going to look like. Then you're going to want to just throw your airflow ring back on right over the top and tighten down your top cap. And you are ready to go.
All right, vape fans, that's it. Today we went over the single coil 24 gauge 8 wrap build. It ended up awesome. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, vape for your own life.